Hi, so I, th I thought I'd do a quick video on what it means to prepare the biodynamic horn manure preparation, which I, uh, in another video, was spraying onto the allotment to help encourage the, the uh, soil micro life and the growth of plants before planting. So uh, here's what I'm doing for an hour. So I've got my stainless steel stock pot here that I use for brewing and various other things. Um, now the instructions actually call for an earthenware pot, but it's pretty difficult to find in the quantity I need. So I'm using stainless steel because it's an, an, an inert metal. Um, and then what I've done is um, I uh, have a water but outside that collects rainwater that's been sitting for a while. I've taken five litres of water out of that water butt. I've heated that water to about 35 degrees C. And then I've put the water in this stock pot and I've mixed in a quantity of the horn manure. And as I've mixed it in, I've just uh, gently kind of rubbed it together um, it, under the water uh, with my finger and thumb. And then uh, the process is to um, kind of aerate and, and, and stir to activate. So basically you're gonna, not gonna do a full length video because I'm basically doing this for an hour. So you wanna get it spinning around in a bit of a, a, a whirlpool where you can see the center. So imagine a hurricane or, or a whirlpool and then go back the other way. I'm basically doing that for an hour. So uh, it's a nice sitting down job. And um, I don't know, I quite like doing it actually. I find it quite therapeutic that uh, I'll either just sit and look out in the garden or I'll put on a podcast from so learning about different things. And, uh, and, and this is it. So, so this will activate it. And uh, from the video I did the other day where I'm spraying it on the allotment, this is what I've done in the workup to that. So uh, after I've stirred and aerated for an hour, I let it sit for just a little bit, a couple of minutes, and then I pour it into the backpack sprayer, cycle up to the allotment and spray it on. And this is day two, so this is the second application. Uh, I'll be doing the same tomorrow because the research shows that it's best to apply three times on consecutive days. And I'm doing it in the late afternoon, evening, because that's when the earth is breathing in. So anything you're going to do with the soil is going to have a better effect at that sort of time of the day. And it's also the right time in the biodynamic calendar to be doing it. Um, it's the right part of the month and it's also spring so uh, I, I'll generally do this based on the research in autumn and then spring and that should get me set for the growing season this year.